We've seen uh, government interventions in many different ways in beer over the, yeah. the last 150 plus years. Um, unfortunately, the tariffs are just another example of that. A pretty big one, though, and and, uh, and you can you can actually connect the dots pretty easily from from what you're seeing. And and uh, let's talk about that. The the aluminum tariffs. <coughs> what, what was the uh, once they were put in, what, how did it affect uh, the industry? Just go through the, the, uh, everything that happened, because Russell is a big producer, right? That's right. That's right. Um, well, your colleague Larry Kudlow said a month ago in one of his last days on CNBC that tariffs are taxes, and taxes are job killers and prosperity killers. And we have seen, uh, we estimated that uh, uh, the tax on beer would be about $350 million dollars from these tariffs, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we are seeing the effects uh, even just uh, one month into the implementation of the tariffs. We've seen the price of primary aluminum go from $2,000 a ton uh, uh, in the weeks before the tariffs were implemented to today at $2,500 a ton. So um, there are great effects to downstream users. 60% of the beer manufactured in the United States is sold in aluminum cans and aluminum bottles. Um, so this is a big part of our business. Um, and it's a, these tariffs are definitely affecting our business. What, will that mean lower margins for the, the, uh, the brewers? Or will it mean higher prices for consumers or both? Well, I don't think we know what it means yet. Uh, this is definitely a cost to brewers. Um, I've uh, spoken to a number of our members and uh, others in beer. Uh, uh, brewers who are, uh, who are thinking about innovation, uh, brewers who are thinking about uh, improving their physical plant, uh, their brewing equipment, uh, hiring more people, uh, all of that's sort of put on hold as we understand what's happening with, uh, what's happening with these tariffs. There are two uh, components to the price of aluminum for beer brewers. The first is uh, the, price, the base price set daily by the London Metals Exchange. And then the second component is called the Midwest Premium. And the Midwest Premium is a, essentially a shipping and handling fee uh, that allows aluminum producers to get their metal to North America. And we have seen that skyrocket in the last year, just as uh, on the news of the investigation starting and now on the, on the implementation of the tariff, we have seen that skyrocket. And we're very concerned particularly about this Midwest Premium as a price component. It's, uh, it's set uh, by one company in secret uh, with input from aluminum producers and uh, aluminum traders who have a financial interest in seeing a very high Midwest premium. Unfortunately, we see that the tariffs have exacerba exacerbated the price irregularities of the men Midwest premium in particular. So, Jim, you, you, uh, you've heard of the not in my backyard uh, with nuclear waste, things like that. It's the same way with when you try to address um, trade inequities around the world. Um, wh whoever gets, whomever gets affected, uh, they don't like it, obviously. And we've, we've heard the president say, you know what, take one for the team, or, you know, the farmers are going to get hurt, but we're going to try to to offset that somewhere else. But, I mean, is there any way to address some of the, uh, the unfair trade practices of other countries that when whatever industry that you pick, there's going to be people that are hurt. And you're a trade industry group, so you have to represent your guys, your beer guys. But is there any truth to that, that, okay, we're going to take one for the team here because the greater good is, is going to be maybe that, that, uh, that we address some of these inequities in, in global trade? You know, I think there's two answers to that. The first is um, uh, we, are, we are taking one for the team. Uh, we think that this tax is a $350 million tax on beer brewers at a time when uh, there are more than 5,000 breweries in the United States. Innovation uh, and dynamism at all levels of beer, big, small, medium, and small. Um, so this tax is definitely having an impact. The question is whether um, the rewards that come from the tax for other industries will come to pass. Uh, we heard aluminum smelting uh, producers say that they were going to reopen some plants. Those things take a long time. We are facing job uh, impacts today. So who knows what will happen uh, for uh, the aluminum smelting industry, whether it will come back in the way that uh, the president hopes. The other thing is um, we are dealing with the tariff in however we can deal with it today. Um, but I think that the Department of Commerce, the Department of Justice, someone in the administration should take a look 
at this Midwest premium. There have been price irregularities in, in this particular component of the aluminum price for years that have affected beer brewers. And uh, I think one thing uh, the administration could do is take a serious look at uh, how this um, uh, price is set uh, and do an investigation into that. I think that would really help beer brewers. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.